Hi fitness friends, today we have Bosu Hit Tabata and Strength to do. I'll be using my heavy, medium, and light weights, my elevation set at 20 inches, some resistance bands around my legs for just a couple of the moves, including the warm up, and I'll also be using my Bosu. You do not need a Bosu to get this workout done. You can either do the moves right on the ground or you can use light weights for some of the other moves. All right, I have a very short rep based warm up. If you need more than that, push pause and get it done. This warm up is pretty much just a glute activating warm up, so it will not raise your heart rate. So go ahead and get yourself all warmed up, get that blood pump in, get your water and your equipment, and I will see you in a minute. All right, let's get this workout started by using our resistance bands around our thighs and activating our glutes. We're beginning with just 10 squats. <clears throat> so squat it down. Squeeze it up, focus on your glutes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we're going onto our backs to do some bridges with butterfly knees. So you're going to squeeze up into that bridge position and you're going to be pulsing your knees out for 10. So your feet are together, push up into that bridge and your knees are going out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now you're gonna go onto your side and we're gonna do some clams. So we're gonna stay on the same leg for the next three moves and then we'll get the other leg. So clams first. Really focus on that glute. You have to really have that mind and muscle connection here. Even put your hand there so you can feel it tightening as you squeeze that leg up. That's three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now you're going to use the same leg and do some fire hydrants for ten. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now to donkey kicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10. Let's get the other side. We're starting with clams again. So your feet are together on your side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 into fire hydrants. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now to donkeys. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice job. Okay, we're gonna start right into our Bosu hit. So this set is four moves. We're gonna do it 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off with our Bosu. If you don't have a Bosu, you're gonna do the same moves, just do them right on the ground. 
All right, both do plank mat hops is first. And every plank mat hop you do, you're going to be doing a push up as well. So I'm going to put my vest on, grab my bosu, and hit start on the timer. This is an eight minute set. Okay. All right, so the flat side will be facing you for these mat hops and push ups. Your hands will be on the flat side. Then we're doing alternating curtsy bosu hops, so you hop the round side up and you'll be hopping onto the bosu, doing curtsy lunge to get off. And then plank jack, or yeah, bosu plank jack burpees with a heel click and goblet hold squat popovers. So you only need a weight for the last move. Hitting start right now. 10 second countdown is started. So plank mat hops. If you don't have both of your hands are right on the ground. So that was our timer. Hop it over, push up. Hop it over, push up. Move it out a little bit here. Hop over, push up. Hop it over, push up. I'm uh, going to turn that timer up a little bit. Next move is the alternating curtsy hops. So flip your bosu over, round side up. You can start on it if you want. Hop off, curtsy lunge, hop on. Off the other side, curtsy lunge. Nice job. Keep your chest up, keep your balance when you hop onto that bosu. If you don't have a bosu, you do a crazy lunge, maybe the squat. My bosu is really blown up too high right now. Rocking on the flat side on the floor. Okay, third move. Plank jack burpee heel click. Flat side facing you. You're holding that burpee, or you're holding that bosu. Put the heel click at the top. Hop it over. Get 
get that push up. Hop it over again.
So make sure you squat it down and walk it across. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Stay low. Almost there. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one. Ten. Get that weight off your shoulders. Take the band off. Unless, of course, you want to keep it on. You have heavy chest presses. Four. Eight. Or ten. To eight. <laughs> okay, so make your weights. Get on your back or on your bosu for your chest press. You have eight. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Okay. We have Bosu Bulgarians for eight reps per leg. So if you have a Bosu, get your foot up on it. If you don't, use an elevation. And if you don't have an elevation, you can use just do a split squat on the floor. You have eight per leg. Let's get it started. No rest here. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Switch legs. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Okay, I'm lowering my weights to 15 pounds. We have tricep push-ups on the weights to a T-stand press. So you're doing eight total. That's only four presses per arm. Here we go. Make sure your weights are close together. Going right underneath your armpit. Your elbows stay close to your body. Okay. Let's do it. Get in between your weights for those tricep push-ups. Go lower than the weights if you can. Here we go. Go into a T-stand press. One. T-stand press. That's two. Three. Total. I'm sorry, 10 reps total. I'm going to try with 15 pounds first. 
let's go. So, swing them up overhead, push, press, and down. That's one, two, three, four, five, Seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. All right, we are back to the top already of our strength. That was a great move. I think we'll be seeing more of that. We have the banded lower load, banded back load lateral squat locks. Let's get them done. Three steps across is one rep. These burn like crazy if you stay low and walk in that squat, especially if you have a band on. They burn without weight too, okay? When you're squat walking with your band, make sure you keep the resistance on your legs the whole time. Don't bring those legs all the way together and lose the resistance. Here we go. Squat it down. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Ah, 
five.
Switching legs again. Let's do it. Come on, pick up your energy. Keep your focus on the ground in front of you. Two more rounds. Let's go.
more rounds. Start with the tuck jump. Let's go. Okay, you made it, this is it. 
have one more true Tabata. We're doing a back load. Lateral step up. So what you're gonna do is keep your foot up on the step and you're loading it up, stepping up, barely touching down with your other foot when you press back up. So get your weights ready to go, whether you're using a sandbag, a barbell, or dumbbells. I'm gonna go with my sandbag. Get a drink. Okay, let's get it. This is your last Tabata. 10 seconds. So load up that weight. Set that foot up there, squeeze it up. When you're coming down, barely tap that foot down. Press up. I don't want you to use your foot as a springboard at the bottom. I want you to use that glute and that hamstring and your quad on the leg that's up on the bench to really push yourself up. Now, I'm back loading with my sandbag, so I'm keeping my weight up in all these 10 second intervals. Switching legs. Here we go. Go slow. And I just pushed off there, I felt it. So I'm gonna try not to do that. If you're training to do a pistol squat, this is the move to do, to increase your strength in the single leg pressing up. All right. Now I'm holding an awful lot of weight to press up like that. If you wanna do this faster, Get more lateral step ups in, go ahead. If you're training to do a pistol and you wanna work on that single leg glute strength, this is how you do it. Control it. You control the going up, you control the going down. Let's go. really, really hard. Get it up there. I should have called these slow-mo lateral step-ups. Segment of this workout. So, 
Now's the time for you to push pause, take a short break, catch your breath, get a drink, come back and we'll finish the last two sets of this workout. All right, I hope you're back with me and ready to go. We're doing it every minute on the minute using the BOSU if you have one. If you don't have one, I recommend grabbing some really light weights, like maybe even two, three pound or four or five pound weights, whatever you want to challenge yourself with. We're doing plank jack push-ups, starting with five and adding on until you get to 10, and then we'll be working our way back down, okay? So five plank jack push-ups on your BOSU, then you're gonna pick up the BOSU, bring it up overhead, and do four switch lunges. That's gonna be our first minute. Our second minute is six plank jack push-ups, four switch lunges. Switch lunges are always gonna stay the same. You're adding on to the plank jack until you get to 10, and then you'll back it down. And I will let you know each minute what we're doing. So, that's it. All the rest of the time in the minute is yours to rest. So obviously when you get to 10 push-ups, you're gonna have less rest. So let's go with five. One, two, three, four, five. Hop it up, bows it overhead, four switch lunges. One, two, three, four. Okay, easy, right? You have 40 seconds rest. Take this time to stretch a little bit. My hamstrings always get tight mid-workout during my break, so I usually stretch a little bit before I get back into my workout. 20 seconds, and we have six plank jack push-ups on the BOSU, and four switch lunges. Let's get ready to go. You have less than 10 seconds. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Switch lunges for four, overhead. One, two, three, four. Okay, next round is seven BOSU, BOSU jack push-ups and four switch lunges. You have 30 seconds left right now. Always use your time wisely. If you want to stretch any certain muscle group, Get it in. Five seconds, seven push-ups with a jack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hop it up, overhead. One, two, three, four. We are cruising. You have 30 seconds before we have eight. You want to make this more of a challenge. Add on to the BOSU switch lunges also, okay? You can certainly do that. You have 10 seconds to go. And we have eight. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four overhead switch lunges. One, two, three, four. Nice job, and 30 seconds to go. Next round, you have nine. And instead of backing down on that number, once we get to 10, I think I'm just gonna leave it at 10 for the remainder of our 10 minute, every minute, on a minute. 
because we are cruising through these reps. Getting quite a nice rest before we start our boat out. So nine Bosey Jack push ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Overhead. One, two, three, four. All right. Next round is ten. And I'm staying at ten for the last five rounds. We have 20 seconds left here. How are you guys doing? <laughs> Stretch out your chest. Anyone else with Bosu hurt their palms? I always put my hands right on the handles. But I think it kind of digs into them. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hop it up. Four switch lunges. One, two, three, four. Thirty seconds. I'm sticking with ten. Cruising through. You have three more rounds. That's only 30 push ups. Let's go. like to wiggle my hips around in this position. Feel any tightness. Let's go. Ten more. You must 
never get the chance to stretch mid-workout, but it feels so good. I mean, we're not mid-workout. All you have left is a burnout after this, but still, to stretch, knowing you're gonna be doing more work is something new for us. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Overhead lunges. One, two, three, four. All right, we have our burnout, and that is it. Set your bosu out of the way. We're starting at 40 reps. We have three moves that we're doing for 40 reps. So, starting with lateral step ups. These are real lateral step ups, not the slow mo pistol training kind, but stepping down and up. You can bring your leg up, you can bring it forward, or you can just do a step up 20 per leg. I'm back loading my stand bag for it, and let's go. Time to run off. Everybody should be finished with their every minute on the minute. This is it. We're working down. So 10 reps. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ooh, feel it in my booty. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 19, 20, other leg, let's go, we got 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, And that 
that's kettlebell, dumbbell, swings. So my sandbag is starting to rip where the handle is, where I swing it with. That makes me sad. My mom's going to sew it. But until then, I'm not going to rip it anymore. So I'm just going with my 24 pound weight. And we will go. 40 swings, squeeze your butt. Even if you don't have a heavy weight, like, you know, I like to do these with 50 pounds, you can make it burn when you squeeze. Okay, we have 40 reps, that's an awful lot of reps. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. I'm going with one arm for 10 and then the other arm for another 10, just to make it more of a challenge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Other arm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, nice job. We have squat popovers. If you don't have a bosu, you're doing side to side squats. We have 40, each side equals one. Oh, I'm sorry, we have 30, <laughs> not 40. We're down to 30 reps, so grab your weight, hold it like a goblet. Let's do it. One, two, three, four. Nine, ten. Nineteen, twenty, ten more. One, two, three, four. Tricep push ups. Push it out of the way. Get down. If you have to stop at 15 and stretch it out, that's no big deal. Finish 30 reps. Here we go. Your hands are close together, going right under your armpits. Your butt's going up in the air. One, two, three, four, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, that ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna do more. Nine, ten. Oh, okay. Thirty Bosu Bulgarians, fifteen per leg. You don't have a Bosu, use your elevation, or just do a split lunge. This is your last 30 to move. And you only have 15 on each leg. Let's do it. Stand up straight and tall. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four and five. Switch legs. Shake out your grip if you need to. Let's 
do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, very last move. Ten reps. Alternating single leg push ups. I'm gonna put my band like right above my ankles here. Each leg lift with each push up, and it's one rep. You only have ten. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Yay! We're done. Awesome job, guys. That was a killer workout. I always love incorporating my BOSU when I can. I don't do it as often as I feel like I should, but really, it's a great workout. It's great for stabilizing. Awesome core work without doing straight up abs. So, make you sure you drink a lot of water, you eat good food today, take the time to cool it down, stretch it out, do some of the stretches that we did during our every minute on the minute, and bring that heart rate down. I will see you next time. <laughs>